Hi guys, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio, and here are some tips and tricks in a Q&A that I did that'll help you use OpenTunes. So our first tip is the most most frequently asked question I get, which is when I have a, a frame, I'm gonna go over here to the X sheet, just drag this out a little bit. When I have the frame that has a little bit of exposure, and also guys, before I get to this tip, um, OpenTunes 1.2 just released, so yay, yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited, confetti, all that stuff, little round of applause. So um, basically, this I'm using the newest version of OpenTunes, so you guys can just go and download it. I'll leave the link in the description so you guys can have like you know all the latest stuff and you know not be confused. So, and I believe this will work in um, some older versions of OpenTunes. I will say that it will work in 1.1.3. So um, make sure you guys update your OpenTunes. It's it's really is it's worth it. So. Um, <clears throat> if I have a sheet with a little bit of exposure, this is uh, what people ask me, like, why does it create a new frame every time I start to draw? And that's because I enabled something in properties that helps you work faster. So we're going to go to file. Well, as you can see now, let me show you what people would think. When they get down here, usually in my videos, I would start drawing and they become a new frame. And everyone's like, why, why does that happen for you and not for me? It is because um, in order to work faster, I went to preferences. And I went to the drawing tab and I went over auto creation. I did use X sheet as animation sheet. And that really helps you guys when you want to, you know, um, check this kind of stuff and, you know, just get through an animation faster. See, now it makes a whole new frame instead of, you know, keeping the old one. So if you're making animation, it works a lot faster. The next question I'm asked a lot in OpenTunes is what recording software I use. I actually use OBS because um, OpenTunes has a sort of thing where you can have a lot of, you know, pop up. Um, you know windows inside of it so what I use I use OBS because it captures the monitor screen rather than capturing like an individual like open GL type um, thing going on here because if I don't if I use something like um, d3d which I um, purchased a little while ago I can't capture every single screen so like um, you'll get the X sheet and you'll get this whole um, uh, outside border but you won't get like the screen in the middle so I use OBS to record. Next up is importing images images in OpenTunes. Now, some people were very confused about this, and I just um all you really gotta do is just open up a file and um just you know take any one of these images. I'll take this Bob haircut picture I took from Google a couple. Um do you want to import it from its original location? Yeah, sure. I'll import from its original location in order to not tamper with the image in case you use this in another project which I have because I was drawing probably a bob haircut I would always do import from its original location in order so it doesn't edit the last one you had in your other file so there you go all you gotta do is drag and drop and I believe this is maybe a PNG image I'm not really sure um some people were pretty confused <laughs> but yeah that's it's really easy that's all you gotta do guys another question I always get asked in on um in the comments is you guys like what drawing tablets that you guys that do I use and which ones do I recommend? Well, I can only recommend one drawing tablet because I only have one drawing tablet at the, at the moment, and it is the UG M seven O eight link in the description, um by the company UG. And the way I can recommend this is because I've had it for two years and there's literally nothing wrong with it. It's, it's the same as it's the same as day one. So, um if I didn't give it a shout out, that'd be um uncalled for and that'd be kind of mean. Because it's lasted me two years. It's only around sixty. At most, it's only gotten up, gone up to sixty dollars. Um, I believe it's around fifty-seven usually. Um, I don't really know what it is right now, but um, yeah, this tablet has, has really been through thick and thin with me, you know. And it's just it's just a sturdy, fine tablet. Like there's nothing really wrong with it. Um, I think on my old channel, I did a review on this, so I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm gonna leave that link in the description. I'll I'll think about it. Probably not, but. Yeah, good tablet. I recommend going out and buying it because it'll last you a long time and not break the bank at all. Now, a lot of you guys ask me how to get my, how to get your files when you render in OpenTunes to an MOV setting. And, um, yeah, I'm confused about that too because I, it really depends on the, okay, so I do have it. Um, what I did is that I downloaded QuickTime and I, and there's a setting in QuickTime, like, when you're downloading in the, in the installation wizard, it says, would you want, do you want to download all of QuickTime, or do you want to download just the essentials? And I watched it, I watched a tutorial on this because I wanted to get my animations in an MOV format because um, one MOV has this killer interface when you're trying to like you know make an animation. I'll show you when you click options, it opens up a tab and you have to click on your um, uh, start menu. 
My start menu on the side if you guys didn't know that. You have all these little things. You can do animation. You can do frames per second. It's really cool. Um, when you have AVI, uh, the files are bigger. And it's really hard to... I mean, look at this. It's just it's so boring looking. But, I mean, I'm not going to say anything about AVI. But, yeah. So, a lot of reasons to move to MOV. Smaller file sizes. And so, I downloaded just a QuickTime Essentials. And that was that allowed me just to have this... Just This, this thing just kind of popped up. So... Um, I hope that makes sense. There's a tutorial online somewhere. Um, I believe you guys will be able to find it. I don't need to save my scene right now. Um, all right, so that's uh, that's it for that. I think one of you asked me how to animate static, so I'm just gonna do that really quickly. I'm gonna go to scene settings, and I'm going to make the background black so I can, as you can guys can actually see the static. And I'm gonna go to this guy, and I'm going to make him red or something. I don't know something. I'll make him light gray so you guys can still see him. Um, I never got around to doing this, so I decided just to take this Q&A video as some time. Stat uh, static or a lightning is really, really easy. Um, it's probably one of the easiest things you could animate. All you gotta do is have some, have a hand, well, drawing tablet and a pen. So, um, I'm gonna make my, th I'm gonna make my, um, lines pretty thick. Is that, is that good enough? Yeah. So, what you wanna do when you're drawing static, you wanna have a difference. Like, you have to have the bigger parts and the smaller parts. So, just start drawing like a bunch of random shapes. That's, but the thing is, like the tricky part is that you can't make them round. So this is pretty round. I'm going to add like a some of them trailing off. Maybe make a third section. Actually, no, let's scrap that. Let's grab that. And we'll make it like, and the parts that it gets big, you can like make another part trailing off, which is really cool. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. And then um, what I do after I make the first strike is that I turn on my onion, onion skin by um, right clicking. And I make it, I make the second like I make the second frame I make it skinnier like it's decaying and so yeah that's um and then I then I just leave it at that I usually put this on I put this on fours and it looks really nice I'll show you guys a little clip of a Tesla coil I animated for a project and yeah so it looked it looked really good at, in the end because um you know I put a little blue blurred in the background so it looked like the lightning was striking and you can see like a little bit of that you know electric glow um i really got that from watching marvel shows i will tell you um like stuff like ultimate spider-man that stuff but really if you guys want to animate in that kind of style i really recommend watching the shows in that style you know people who watch anime um they kind of have that as almost section second nature though when they're when they start animating so it's really good to watch those kind of shows if you're really into that sort of styles. I'm going to show you, like, if you just do that, and you just start with another bolt, like this. It's really not that hard. You know, just keep just keep going with that, and then the next frame you do would just be a skinnier version. You can do it better than I'm doing. I'm just doing this because I limited I want to keep this video relatively short. Now, the next one is about adding sound, and um, I thought this was pretty also, also pretty straightforward, but um, since I do have a folder full of some of the sounds I've used in Castle Dark, um, I'll be able to show you guys this one really quickly. So what you guys got to do is that you got to have a 16-bit wave file. And if you have Audacity, this shouldn't be really be a problem. So I'm going to grab my um, wave file. I'm just going to drag and drop it onto the X sheet in OpenTunes. And let's see. So um, if we go into Castle Dark, Sound, and we have the wave folder. I'm going to do a... Door opening sound. So when I used for one of the things you had. So you just got to drag and drop it right out of the X sheet. Um, maybe some people are having trouble with this. And it could just be the type of sound that you're trying to import. So let's uh, play this. That's the door opening sound. That's really all there is to it, guys. So if you're having trouble with this, then I uh, will consult the Open Tunes. Um, I don't know. It's like a speaking group. I think it's on google or something yeah they have they you can ask questions and they they respond pretty quickly so um you can always use that another question was about the horizontal timeline thank goodness in this new version of open tunes they added the my paintbrushes horizontal timeline and much more so go download it it's on it's on the regular open tunes website there's no um build you gotta look for like the other ones so i'm gonna go to my um cleanup tab and i mean look at this this looks i mean i like the black background i think i'm gonna might, might keep that for the rest of my videos it just looks looks cool Anyway, so we're in the cleanup tab, and oh no, why, why, oh goodness, that's not what I meant to do. Um, how do I, uh, oh, just double click. I didn't know that. Double click on any, you know, uh, 
any tab to get you know the full screen so what you can do is you go down here and like why would you, the frames go down I, I that means I have to drag up every time I look at something or scroll up and I can't see the top no more my friend all you got to do is click this little X sheet button boom and you have a completely horizontal timeline I made a video about this but that was in a previous build but this open tunes 1.2 has it installed for you so that's all you got to do that's pre it's pretty cool so um uh I will do another tutorial on um, beginners in the new OpenTunes because um, it, the OpenTunes that I did the first time, which was your first animation and basics, was it's a different OpenTunes today. We're we're using um, a whole new version, we're using a whole new mindset, <laughs> if I could put it that way. OpenTunes is really changing, guys, and I see it going places. Honestly, another question was how to change background size. Now this one's really really easy. All you got to do is head to File. You gotta go to output, output settings. Right now, as you can see, the aspect ratio that I have is set to um, 920, 9, 1920 by 1080. And if you change, I believe, pixels or aspect ratio, I think you can change the background. So let's put this to 720p. That's 1280 by 720. We'll see if it changes. I click out. Is that, I don't know if that changed too much. Uh, let me see. If it actually changed the output settings, no, I think uh, you actually have to change the pixels. So if we change, let me click this again, the pixels, 1280 by, yeah. So if you change the pixels on it, yeah, then it automatically um, changes the size of the camera or your background. So that's pretty easy. Um, I know I did this before. I just spent, I'm just a little rusty. I'm gonna put that back to 1080p because that's how I like my animations to be. There you go. Make sure you, you click pixel when you do the, I had to keep clicking it right here. So anyway, yeah, that's that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so hyped about this release of open tunes. I'm, I'm really happy that they got everything, you know, that people have been working on for the past year into one, into one release. And I'm just, oh, I'm pumped about it. So, um, if you guys are wondering about my other series, which is how to make an animation series, um, it's going problem pretty strong. I'm going to, I really just got to work through. The certain episodes and i'm gonna have some progress for you guys in the next video i make so next make sure to leave a comment if you're, there's something you want to see and we'll have another one of, one of these q a videos sometime in the future so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time peace <laughs>